Hey friends, fans, and lovers, the name is Mr. Joshua. I'm here with the beloved and cute Valentine, who's my plus one for the day, and we're gonna talk about stuff. Say hi, Valentine. Hi. She totally cares, see? I really do. Anyway, what are we talking about today, Valentine? Okay, one more hypothetical. Well, there'll probably Virgin be. Day. Yeah, there'll, there'll be more. There'll totally be more. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yes. if you could go anywhere in the world, right, like close your eyes and be anywhere right now, where would you be? If I literally went anywhere, it would be just like the end of my life. I would be somewhere no one could explain how I got there or how I'd get back. I'd have no money. I'd literally have this shirt. I'd have Steve on my necklace. He'd be cool. Um, I guess I'd pawn him off to make 12 cents to try and get back and have to buy Steve back. That'd be an epic adventure. But probably result in my dying because I'd be somewhere I probably couldn't talk to people or be freezing to death. Or the places I'd love to go are Japan and Alaska. Either of those two would basically be the death of me. I'd have no passport. I wouldn't get back. Um, I ugh, I wouldn't be deported. I would just be like locked up. Or I don't even know what happens. What happens if you are teleported somewhere, have no idea how you got there, and you're stuck? No one knows because it doesn't happen. Um, I like so I would probably go like to the grocery store because I want to get some celery because it's delicious. Ew, really? With peanut butter, it's delicious. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Tell you it tastes like battery acid. That is... I, Why I, would you know what battery <laughs> acid tastes like? I don't know. See, that look... I should probably make him not worry about me all the time now. I don't know what battery acid tastes like. I promise. I promise. Ah, uh, my eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but you took that in a whole different direction. That you drank battery acid? Yes, that's where I No, took it. not... Not the battery acid part, but if you could be anywhere, where would you go? Like, you're... This is... There's no... This happens every time we do one of these. Because <sighs> I never phrase it right. There's not supposed to be a concern, like, I won't be able to eat and... You said if I just... Ha right now, blink, I'm somewhere else. That'd be terrifying. That'd be awful. I'm not ready to go to Alaska. I'd freeze to death. I don't care if I showed up in the middle of the street. I'd just die. I'd be homeless if I didn't die. It would be horrible. That would be sad. But that yeah, wasn't my intention. That, horrible. that wasn't my intention with the question. I was what is the intention with the question? Where would you want to go? Like I just told you, Alaska and Japan. Okay. Why Why Japan? I've been studying Japanese since I was very, very young. And um, I'm not good at it. <laughs> uh, don't think I can... I can speak a little bit. I'm really good at saying, please don't talk to me in Japanese. <laughs> I'm really bad at it. I'm, I'm actually very good at that one. And I can say I have no idea what that word means in Japanese. I, I can say a number of things, but my accent is terrible because I'm very American. And <laughs> American? American? You can't even make our vow. America! <laughs> yeah, that's the real challenge with my American accent. But no, I, uh, I've i been studying it forever. I love the notion of samurai ever since my father, secret agent, works with government peoples. And um, he brought back a samurai sword when I was really young. And I was like, this is the most amazing thing ever. What is this from? And he's like, they're samurai. They're really awesome. I'm like, they are really awesome. And then ninjas. And I was like, what? And then I learned about knights in Europe. And that was also really cool. So really swords just became my infatuation forever. Take that as you will. And then, um, yeah, I got older and I realized I can learn culture along with the sword. So I did. Then I got into anime for a while. Then I got out of anime because, yeah. I don't have a good reason. I just don't watch as many cartoons anymore, but I love cartoons. They're amazing. When done right, but that's how everything works. Anyway, so yeah, I'd love to go to Japan, but I'd like to be able to properly speak at first, and I'm just really slow at learning languages because I don't take to them very well. So, yeah. Hmm. Kind of like math. But I can do basic math in my head, unlike this one. Don't... Mm. We work at a store that involves a lot of money. Basically, you play Monopoly all day, but this one, can I do fractions? They don't, they don't make me do the Monopoly parts most of the time. He does the Monopoly parts. I just find stuff for him. She just to... collects Go, $200. Yeah. And then goes to jail. But you don't collect Go that time because you... Because I went to jail. Do not pass Go. Do not collect $200. Go to jail. Yeah, that's what she does. We have a little jail box in our, <laughs> in our job. She just sits there most of the time. I sit there and totally thumb. She rolls dice till she gets doubles. Then she can leave. <laughs> Is that the rule? Yeah. Because I always just made people stay one turn and then go. Is there... I, she doesn't even know how to play Monopoly. I don't think I've ever read the rules to Monopoly. We've kind of just made up our own and and 
I play with I play with my nephew, so it's not like I can tell this eight year old like, hey, this is the rule. You can't do this, and have him not scream at me. So you have a good family. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today. I've been Mr. Joshua. This is the Blood of Valentine. My plus one for the day, and we shall be back, uh, probably tomorrow or the next day or something, sometime soon. Just our last one for today, but we'll we'll, we'll do more. That's fine. So, bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.